on this channel. I've told you a lot about toys from the Generation X period, mostly the 70s and the 80s and maybe into the 90s. And I've told you about action figures and even die-cast cars. But today, I'm not going to tell you about the toy line of die-cast cars that came wrapped in candy bar packages. I was sitting here thinking, what video can I do today? And I ran across a line of rare toy die-cast cars that I said, I'm just not going to make a video on that. No one's going to care about it. So I'm not going to tell you about the toy line die-cast cars released in 1983 by a toy company called Kinesh. Kinesh. I hope I said that right. I'm not really sure, you know, how I am. But I asked, I asked the computer how to say it, and that's how they pronounced it. Anyway, this line of power car well hold on let me explain what a power car is this is one that you pull back you put it on the floor and you pull it back usually until it clicks and let it go and it flies across the room i'm sure many of you know about this a lot of toys did that back in this time period and i guess they still make them a day i'm not really sure now this toy line was called rapper racers i know it sounds like something they might have pictures of the fat boys or two live crew on it but nope this toy line had the cars packaged inside candy bar wrappers think about those fun size ones you get at the store they say they're fun size but to me a fun size would be a candy bar that's about six foot long but anyway these were packaged on a card and the car was inside the bubble inside this candy wrapper now i'm not going to tell you anything about this line but if i was i would tell you that you really couldn't tell what the car looked like kinda if I was going to show you a picture of the back of the car, I would tell you that it had two holes at the bottom so you can kind of see the, what the car looked like. But I'm not going to tell you that because I'm not going to do a video on these. This is just going too far. No one cares about cars packaged inside of a candy bar wrapper. But if I was, I would show you the front of the package without the car on it so you can kind of see where the holes line up and tell you that it was for ages four and up. And I'm not going to tell you that this company can... Kanash, however you say it, this toy company was bought out by Tonka around 1987, so they're no more now. Now, I'm not even going to waste my time to tell you the truth that these cars are rare. They're hard to find. It was even hard to find pictures. Even on eBay or wherever you went, I couldn't hardly find them. But when I did, they went for about $30, at least the ones I did find. But we're not going to tell you about that because I'm not going to do a video on toy cars wrapped inside of a candy wrapper. But if I did, we would take a look at each one of them. Now, I'm not going to tell you that the car package inside the Almond Joy package was a Trans Am. Oh, what a great car to have in the 80s. I think a lot of us wanted a Trans Am back in the 80s. I think a lot of us wanted a Trans Am back in the 80s. We thought it would be cool pop our collar up and stand out in front of the school. But anyway, the Trans Am came packaged inside Almond Joys. Yeah, Peter Paul Almond Joys. But I'm not going to tell you that because I'm not going to do a video on this toy line. If I did, I would show you what it looked like outside the package. And it would have an eagle on the hood because it's a Trans Am. You got to have an eagle on the hood. And also, I'm not going to tell you they did a Baby Ruth. No, I'm not. I would never tell you that because I'm not going to make a video on this toy line. But they did make a Baby Ruth. And I'm not going to tell you that the car they did inside the package was a Grand Prix. And I'm not going to tell you that it was white and on the back of it it said Baby Ruth because I'm not going to do a video on this toy line. Like I've said, I'm not just not going to do it. And I'm sure not going to tell you they even made Junior Mints. Yeah, a package Junior Mint with a car inside. Can you believe it? Oh, junior Mint. Oh, it's so refreshing. It's chocolate, it's peppermint, it's delicious. Now I wish I was making this video kind of so I could tell you inside the Junior Mint was a Stingray. A green one. A green Stingray. Power car. Pull it back, let it go. It's a Junior Mint. Also, if you don't like coconut like a normal person, they made mounds. Because sometimes you feel like a nut and sometimes you don't. But I'm not going to tell you about that. Again, I'm not going to do a video on this. I've scraped the bottom of the barrel before. I'm not going to scrape it this low. I mean, you don't even care that they made these. You sure don't care that they made a Lamborghini Almond Joy car. Mounds car. Sorry, I get them mixed up. And I don't think I've ever had either one of them. Sure don't eat coconuts. Gross. One thing they did make, but I'm not going to tell you about it, is Payday. Yeah, Payday. I remember one time they made a honey roasted payday. I loved it so much they quit making it. Sometimes I think they do that companies. They see if, hey, Jumpman likes it, we're just going to quit making it. But you know what would be in this package if I was telling you about it? A Porsche. A payday Porsche. 
That almost makes me want to make a video about rapper racers, but I'm not going to do it. You guys don't care about them. Now there was one called Powerhouse that I could have told you about if I wanted to make a video about them. I don't even remember Powerhouse. That's a candy bar? Never even heard of this. It doesn't even ring a bell. If it was a PB Max car, that would be cool. Or how about a Bar None car? Hmm, I wish I had a Bar None. It's been a long time. <sighs> and what about a Skittles car? Not Skittles. I'm not going to tell you there's a Corvette inside, and I'm not going to show it to you because I've searched around the internet, eBay, Google, wherever I could, die-cast toy car forms, and I couldn't find a picture of it. So even if I did make a video about these, you wouldn't see the Corvette because I couldn't find a picture of it. So I would just have to tell you, if I was making the video, that we don't have a picture of it, and we would have to move on to a Reese Cups car. I don't know about you, but I love a Reese Cup. Oh, I love a good Reese Cup. And inside a package of the Reese Cup, if I was going to make the video, was a, a 280Z. I don't even know what that is, but that's the car that would have been inside of it. And again, I looked all over the internet, and I couldn't find a picture of that car out of the package, so I decided, why make the video? I can't even find all the pictures. So I'm not going to make a video. So I'm not going to make a video on rapper racers. But you know what they did make? Reese's Pieces. Oh, E.T. Phone Home. Reese's Pieces. Mm -hmm. Reese's Pieces are good for you. Reese's Pieces are so good. I remember when you used to be able to get a Hershey <laughs> for a nickel. And you know what's inside the package? Well, if I was making the video, I would tell you. A Ferrari. Ferrari, move over Magnum P.I. A Ferrari, this is Reese's Pieces on it. And if I was going to make this video, this is about where I would tell you that there were eight different cars and we would have looked at them all. Sadly, there would have been two of them I couldn't even find loose. Like I said, these are rare. And maybe if I can find all the pictures, one day I'll make the video. But it does make me think, hmm, why didn't they make some other ones? Like I mentioned, Skittles would have been good. Bar None would have been good. 100 grand and what's what's that one that has a commercial that has swirling chocolate in it they all have swirling chocolate in the commercial oh well I, i've got to go get back on the internet and find out what video i'm going to do today what can i talk about i'm sure not going to talk about rapper racers hey jump man <laughs> channel popping though thank you sir for that unsolicited testimony <laughs>